In today's video, we are talking Exalted Truth. And before Igneous came out last week and we did the video on that, this was the hand cannon I was using almost full time. Uh, yes, partly because I compare it with my conditional finality. Uh, but today I want to talk about how you may be chasing the wrong role, in my opinion, on Exalted Truth. So we're going to talk about the God rolls on this weapon. We're going to talk about the role I've been using and the role you're seeing in this video and talk about why I think a specific perk within that role is very underrated and soon will only be getting better. And that's what we're going to kind of break down in today's video. So we're going to go into our favorite little website, D2 Foundry, and we're just going to blow this up nice and big. So let's talk about the God roll. Get right into it. I think you have a couple options here, but I think just a straightforward one from a barrel standpoint is going to be small bore for that nice boost of stability and range. From there, accurized, easy money there. And I think most people are going to say killing wind. I'm going to say most people because that's not me, uh, but I'm going to leave it there for now. So you got killing wind. And I think in this last column, you do have encore, which I think is quite good uh, on this hand cannon as well as Eye of the Storm. But I think the ideal role, and if Igneous didn't make this clear to anyone, is probably going to be Eye of the Storm. And then in terms of our masterwork, as we're kind of looking, we definitely want to go range on top of range. And that's going to get us to a pretty healthy stat roll uh, across the board with 87 range, 68 stability, some nice flinch resistance, and 58 handling. And as you can see from a range standpoint, that's going to get us to almost uh, 36 meters, but truthfully 35.74 uh, so not gonna be quite as high as 120s but again still very good for a 140 so overall i think for a lot of people they'd be pretty happy with this role but not me but not me <laughs> and so for me the role i have i'm gonna throw this up on screen right here is corkscrew rifling uh accurized i got double range masterwork uh don't have eye of the storm i have encore and then i am using perfect blow and as you can see, this is the role I'm using in the video and the footage you were just seeing. And so I want to talk about why I like this role so much. And it's a couple of things. And I think what it really is, is the balance of perfect bloat and encore. I know a lot of you think I'm probably memeing right now on perfect bloat. And I truthfully did not think even about using it before because I was primarily using rangefinder. But since the nerf to range finder and changes to range i was like you know what let me try my perfect blow encore roll has great stats let me give this guy a try and it is amazing i absolutely love it and i wanted to kind of talk about why it is so good and it has a lot to do with perfect blow so just reading the perk uh here uh, after being in combat for six seconds you get 30 a boost of 30 ae and 35 percent flinch resistance for five seconds and so uh, basically what is defined as being in combat is dealt or received damage within the last three seconds. So it's actually pretty generous. As long as you're just playing the game, you're going to activate perfect float. And then what I want to look at is once perfect floats active, how that really impacts our flinch resistance. So I'm going to pull up this right here. So those are flinch resistance right now with no zero resilience, perfect float, not active and no armor mod. So we're going to do this right now. So. Let's say we go up to tier six resilience, which is what I recommend for any build if you can, is that's gonna bring us a 14% flinch resistance. Let's throw on, I use double unflinching. That's gonna bring us up to 39.8. That's actually a pretty big boost. I didn't think it was quite that much. 39.8 flinch resistance. So again, it's gonna just help us keep our shots on target as much as possible, which is great, especially in modes like checkmate where precision is, is key and you want your shot to stay as consistent as possible. Now let's activate perfect float. So after being in combat for six seconds, super easy, super passively activated. We click on this and we are at 60.92% flinch resistance. And this is where you really notice perfect float. In my opinion, I think if you're a strand warlock, you'll also a uh, strand warlock strand hunter. You'll greatly appreciate the additional airborne effectiveness as well from this, or even if you're a solar warlock, but the 60.92 flinch resistance, when you're getting shot, your gun does not move. And I'm gonna show a quick little clip here in a second of what this looks like. And then, hypothetically, you could push this even higher with Encore. If you get one kill with Encore, that's one stack. Uh, if you just get a kill without getting a precision kill, but if it's a precision kill, you're automatically gonna get two stacks. You can see our 
splinter resistance is, open, is going up just a little bit a little bit at a time obviously you see the stats on this weapon getting more and more insane between the range of stability going up if we get the four stacks we're at 63.4 but we're gonna typically you're gonna be around two stacks you're not always gonna be at four and you can see we're at 62.20 but wait you could get it even higher with Zero Synergy, where when you uh, reload, grants this bo weapon bonus handling and reduce incoming flinch. So we activate that. We were at almost 70% flinch resistance. So your gun is not going to move at all. And what I'm gonna do is kind of pull up a clip that I think really shows this off quite well. And what you're gonna see in the clip is I'm gonna get Perfect Flow active and it's gonna be the last kill I get. And you're gonna kind of see uh, what we're looking at here. So let me get this pulled up. All right, we're just gonna get to this part in the clip. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna get a couple kills here. Got the first kill, easy peasy. That, and then so this is the clip where you're really gonna see it. And so you gotta watch it quick, but just pay attention to my reticle and how little it moves as I'm getting shot. Not at all. I'm gonna play that one more time, but you can kind of see my reticle there it's almost like my hand cannon has absolutely no flinch and it feels absolutely incredible when you're dueling trading shots back and forth absolutely not every shot is absolutely pinpoint um this is with encore times four uh two unflinching mods and perfect flow active you just can't see it because i have a million perks on my screen and thorough synergy so actually this is a perfect example of what we just talked about i didn't realize how good of an example this was but as you can see here, and this is with very little setup, uh, it sounds like a lot, but a lot of this is just being passively activated by me just playing the game. And so that's why I really think Perfect Flow is quite underrated uh, in the current sandbox on this weapon and just as a perk in general. Now, that being said, it's not necessarily the best perk ever. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it's like 100% better than Killing Wind. I wouldn't be upset if someone preferred Killing Wind, but I do think it's quite underrated. But wait, there's even more. How, how? If you look here, This Week at Bungie just came out today. So October 5th, where's this at? Where am I at? Perks, as you can see here, Perfect Float is getting a buff in the mid-season patch. So they're increasing the base duration now from six to 10 seconds. Oh, so you're gonna have to activate it for 10 seconds and the extended duration, so as you get kills, from seven to 12 seconds. So making it even better at boosting those stats we were talking about for even longer. So six seconds to activate, and then once you activate, it's gonna be active for 10 seconds and refresh on kills after that. Uh, which is quite nice um oh i'm sorry you don't even get kills dealing and receiving damages refreshes the buff so pardon me for misspeaking but essentially just keeping on using it and taking damage and staying in these longer fights that's going to increase the duration to 12 seconds instead of just seven so you're gonna get additional two so up to 12 seconds duration on having this insane flinch resistance on having that ae and having your weapons more active and it's cool because this also activates while stowed so even if you're not using your exalted truth with perfect flow it's still going to work and activate perfect flow over time even if you're pushing with your shotgun or you know trading shots with a sniper whatever your weapon of choice or special weapon of choice is and so that's what i think makes this weapon so good now i don't want to spend too much time about comparing this to igneous hammer which i'm sure a lot of you are thinking about uh, but that is going to be the next video i plan on working on next week but let me know have you tried perfect flow on any of your roles or you just been tossing them all out and if you have let me know what you think about it or if you're going to go out and try it based on this video let me know how you enjoy it uh, because i really think perfect flow uh, especially with this combination of perks on exalted truth is very underrated